Okay, I'm here with Chris Jim and Niels Bickenhoff, the stars of the touching and brave new film, The Fruits of Our Passions Lead Us to a Well. So, tell me, where did the idea of this film come from? Well, the studio saw the success of Call Me By Your Name and wanted to cash in on gay people. I mean, wanted to create another moving gay love story. Uh, but uh, we don't like to think of it as the gay love story. It is just a love story. That is beautiful. And Nils, I'm so sorry. I'm sure you get this question all the time. How do you pronounce your last name? Betengu. 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 Betengoff. Betengu. Betengu. Mini Cooper. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Benedict. Critics have been lauding your on-screen chemistry, even though you're both straight men. We have a clip from your initial chemistry read. Let's roll it. To kiss me, you coward! Shut your mouth! My wife will hear you. We own this orchard together, and if her father finds out about us, he'll have us both killed. There is no us. Why is love so hard? Get closer. Get closer. Are you getting this magic? I'm. I'm. I'm getting this. <laughs> that. That. It's the best chemistry read we have had for these characters yet, okay? Love is love. <laughs> we are so brave. <laughs> I am straight. I, I am straight. Okay. Nils, you're really early in your career to be taking such risky roles. So what originally drew you to the part of Gordo, you know, the nubile, sexually curious teen by the well? I am, how you say, beautiful and inexplicably straight. You said that? Yes, and so portraying a gay character is one of the greatest challenges an actor can face. I am now a serious actor. I'm also straight and a serious actor. This is something we have in common. After this traumatic experience, we're essentially brothers. And a boom! And Chris, you've had wild success in the Marvel Universe playing Lieutenant Hotman for 15 films in the last two years. So what drew you to the part of playing the closeted gay orchard owner Patrice? I've saved whole planets as a superhero, but nothing is as brave as getting paid to French another dude. Speaking of the more sensual scenes, how did you both prepare for that level of intimacy with another man on camera? As an actor, you sometimes have to do things that you would never dream of doing. You have to play characters who do all kinds of things that you find unimaginable. We were really in the trenches together. And you just have to tell yourself that it's a character, it's not you. For this film, that was particularly difficult. I mean, in your last film, you played Tariq al a war criminal who raped an entire village. Of women. Let's take a look at some more of the behind the scenes footage from the risque film, The Fruits of Our Passions Lead Us to a Well. <laughs> Great, great. Okay, so for the next take, I'm gonna need a little more passion from both of you. How can we be any more passionate, Mikey? Uh, well, you have to kiss. This is the scene where they first kiss. Okay. On the mouth. Okay, okay. I hear you. So I'll just pretend it's like the sex scene I did in Ultimate Fire 2 with Megan Fox. Or yes. The sex scene I did in Wet Fire the Prequel with Salma Hayek. Love that. Or the sex scene I did with Jessica Beale and Jessica Alba in Bamboo Fire 8. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. Where's Nils? Nils? Okay, let's do it. Fruits of our passions lead us to a will. Take 38. I will be the well, if you will be the fruits. I'll follow you to the depths of that well. The lips, guys. You have to, you have to touch lips. You have to put your lips on, on on his lips. It's a kiss, you have to, oh, you know, cut. If the kiss was so intense, what was it like on set the day you had to film that infamous sex scene? Well, I was less nervous than Nils because fortunately my agents had carved out a no bottoming clause in my initial contract, so I knew that I was the one who was gonna be giving it to him hard. And I was still very drunk. Luckily the scene that made it into the film fades to black before you see anything too salacious. Was that a conscious choice? Yes! 
Because this is art, not pornography. So often in cinema, you see straight movies where sex is depicted and it is very natural. But we knew if we showed anything sexual between two men, that it would take away from the message of the movie. Which is? That I am a serious actor. Oh, okay. The director felt it was sexier to imply what was happening between Patrice and Gordo. Plus, it would be bad for my future as a leading man if audiences saw me putting in the ass of a small French child. I'm not French! Really? Before we go, we have exclusive deleted scenes that we're going to play for the first time. Can you guys tell us a little bit about what's happening in this clip? Yes, here is where you see a new side of Persis and Gordo right before they are shipped off to opposite coasts for the war. I can see why they cut that scene. Why? What do you hope the people who see the fruits of our passions lead us to a well take from the film? If I were I gay, want an I'd Oscar. Be a top. <laughs>